Hey guys, Pete here. Today I'm going to talk about some news that's been going around about the final two seasons of Game of Thrones. I left this out of my last spoilers video because it's not really related to what's going to happen in the story, so this is spoiler free. But there has been some discussion about how much actual time is left in the series, so I was going to go over what we know. Last April, Dan and Dave mentioned that they thought there was about 13 episodes left of the series, Game of Thrones. David Benioff, one of the showrunners, had mentioned that he thought they were down to the final 13 episodes and that they were heading into the final lap. At that time, he also added that the decision to wind things down was not just about trying to not overstay their welcome, but that they were trying to tell a cohesive story with a beginning, middle, and end. They've known the end for quite some time, and they're hurling towards it. Daenerys is finally heading to Westeros, Jon Snow is king in the north, and Cersei is sitting on the Iron Throne. The Night King is up there, waiting for all of them. The pieces are on the board now, and we're heading towards the endgame. So from that interview, we got the idea that there was probably going to be 7 episodes in Season 7, which meant that Season 8 would be the finale with only 6 episodes. In the past few weeks though, we've had a couple other interviews that make this sound like it might not be the case. Liam Cunningham, who plays Davos, did an interview at the Golden Globes where he sort of backed up the story of 7 episodes in Season 7 and 6 episodes in Season 8. He mentioned that they're still filming Season 7 now and they will be until the end of February and that they would come back in September to film the final 6 episodes in Season 8. Ian Glenn, who plays Jorah Mormont, did an interview with Radio Times where he pretty much said the same thing, but there's a little bit of difference in what he said. He's quoted as saying, They are taking the length of time it takes to shoot 10 episodes to shoot just 7 this year and 6 next year. There are 15 more hours left in Thrones as we understand it, but that may change. But that's as far as we know. So, he says there'll be 7 and 6, but they're taking more time to film those episodes, and there is a possibility that the number of episodes might change based on what they're shooting. He also mentioned 15 hours, which we know is longer than the 13 that Dan and Dave kind of alluded to back in April. So what does it mean? I mean, it could mean that there are going to be like an extended season premiere and an extended season finale. Westworld did a 90 minute season finale that shows that that's definitely possible and it actually didn't seem stretched out at all. It was actually pretty perfect. So they could be going that route or he could have just made a mistake, but I kind of doubt that. I mean, if they're spending so much time shooting, then that would be a good indication that the at least that the episodes might be a little bit extended when they need to be. Probably the most interesting story about this came out when Casey Bloys told Entertainment Weekly why HBO hadn't signed up for Season 8 of Game of Thrones yet. He mentioned that Dan and Dave were still figuring out the shape of the season and what they want to do. For Season 8, that is. You know, Season seven's already locked in. He says that he'll take as many as they want to do. If, you give, if they give me 8, I'll want 10, but it's really up to them. They'll let me know. So he basically said that it's not certain how many episodes season 8 will be. In another interview he gave to TV Line, he said that he hopes that the showrunners will opt for more than 6 episodes for season 8. He told TV Line that they're still figuring it out because I think they're trying to get a shape of the season. They always do what they think will yield the best version of the show. It's all about how many they're comfortable with, but I'll always take more. Based on all the different articles I read, I think that it's likely we won't know anything about the full episode count for Season 8 until after Season 7 is in the can. But what do you guys think? Do you think that longer episodes would be good, or would you prefer to have extra weeks to wait in between to think about what's going on? I'm pretty torn overall, because I enjoy longer episodes, but... One of the things that I've always loved about Game of Thrones is that week in between of the anticipation and, and wondering what's going to happen and talking to all your friends about, you know, what happened in the last episode. So a part of me would like to see it stretched out as long as possible without, you know, adding too much filler or going away from their original idea. 
Watchers on the Wall pointed out that, you know, pretty much all of us want it to last forever. And, you know, our, our, our quick answer is going to be more. We want to just see more all together. But they made the point that with no books to go off of, you know, in the Song of Ice and Fire series, you know, they basically just have ideas about what George is going to do. Maybe, it, you know, maybe a shorter end in the TV show is actually the best possible outcome. And, you know, I think there's some sense in that, but I also, you know, really just don't want the show to end because it's been such a big thing for over these last years. But let me know what you guys think. I would tend to think that 70 minute episodes would be fantastic because we'll get to, to watch a little bit more in each individual episodes. But at the same time, I don't want only a six episode season. It just seems like it'll fly by. So, you know, I just want to, you know, I want to put it out there and see what you guys think keep you up to date with the news. Casey Bloys also gave us some prequel news. He said that, you know, a spinoff would be less likely than a prequel because they, they could use so much of the material that's already out there. He said a prequel feels like it has a lot less pressure than a spinoff. He basically said author George R. R. Martin's History of Westeros gives you areas in which you could tell a writer, go ahead and check this out, write it out, flesh it out, and then we'll see what we get whenever the writer comes back. He added, though, that he didn't feel any pressure that we have to have something. I made a video about this uh, probably a month and a half, two months ago when they mentioned that they were in talks about the prequel and I laid out all the best options I thought they had to start with. And then we had a pretty good uh, you know, discussion in the comments on what people would actually like to see in that. So if you haven't seen that video, you should check it out. But as I said then, I think it's pretty much a done deal. They'll find something that's worth doing that they think will, you know, have the same quality and, you know, that they don't have to rush and throw together. I mean, the, the, the content's already out there. The stories are there. They just have to get the right people behind them. All right, that's it for today. Please like the video if you enjoyed it. Make sure you chime in in the comments and tell me what you think. Do you want to see long episodes? Do you want to see more episodes? Do you want to see a prequel? Make sure you subscribe because uh, my book giveaway is still going on. All you have to do is be a subscriber and leave a comment on this one or any of the other videos where I mention this giveaway. And when I hit 28,000 subscribers, I'll pick one of those comments to send a copy of the Game of Thrones 20th Anniversary Edition to that commenter. Thanks for watching. I'll talk to you soon.